This episode of Bustin' with the Boys, the Boys, is presented by Barstool Sports. Mm. There's no way that was a gluten-free bun. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was. That was a gluten-free bun. You can look at the receipt. Listen. What's this place? What was that place? Farm Burger. No free shout out. So Farm Burger, though. That burger was delicious. It was so good. Dude, that was so good. It was like... Five seconds, mine was gone. I got the did half you, and half. I should have time stamped did you? a couple pictures to see how fast it was. When I um, when I like first opened it up, I was a little disappointed about the like uh, the appearance of it because it had like the sesame seed bun, which takes me to McDonald's, which thinks I'm automatically gonna get cancer right, right. then and there. Yeah. So, yeah. dude, when uh, when I opened up close. that careful, that down. sandwich, the sesame seed came out. So I thought McDonald's not a fan of it. I bit into it. The burger was cooked perfectly. I'm, I'm assuming medium rare. Had a perfect amount of pink in the middle. Not a huge onion guy, but there were grilled onions at the bottom. I believe they were sauteed. And then before I even took a bite, Taylor took a bite. But you gave me that sauce to drizzle on top. I took that bite and it kind of just took it over the level into a next level for me. Overall. Overall, what would you give it? 4.5. Dude, I agree. I agree. Can, Can what? Hey, out. Alec, tell us, tell us your rating. Tell what us your you rating. What, what would you, you rate? It? I have to go all the way back. Like this is deep <clears throat> memory now because yeah. that was like ten minutes ago. Describe right? it and rate it. I mean, I inhaled the thing, so I mean, I wasn't expecting to have to give a full rating of it. Are you are you nervous? It's, it's over. A a four, it's over a four for sure, but I don't know if it's a four point five. We'll give it a rating. You got to put your name on it. Four point three. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I, I was anchored I don't like to the either. four point five and the four. I don't like it either. So I, I went so? right in the middle. I thought with a gluten-free bun, you, you rarely get a good gluten-free, you, you rarely get good gluten-free bread. Right. You know what I mean? Rarely. And to, and to make it a bun at a burger, a commercial spot. I don't know, actually, I don't know if they're a commercial local. Sorry. Sorry, Farm Burger. No free shout outs. No free shout outs. But a gluten-free bun, I want half and a half. Right. 50 pork, 50 uh, beef. Pasteurized. You had pork? They said pasteurized pork. There was pork, pork in mine? No, I got you 100% grass-fed beef. Don't worry. Got gotcha. right. you. Wow. Gotcha. Oh, dude, Relax. I was about to walk off. Jesus I was Christ. To walk off the bus, dude. Oh, my goodness. But, so I went half and half. And they have their little house sauce you put on top. The caramelized onions. Solid. The way you bite into it and the way, you know, everything kind of develops in your mouth. Easy there, comp. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> yeah. Good aftertaste. Very refreshing. It, feel, it feels healthy. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It feels the, real, for sure. That's your, why your stomach, I, when you swallow it, your stomach says, thank you. Yeah, yeah I appreciate yeah. that. It's both, yeah. yeah. That's why I would, I, would, I would give it, I'd give it a 4.5. Really? Yeah. I, I, that's fucking perfect. Yeah. I, I was thinking the same thing. I feel left out now. You, you should. Guys, you guys are on the same wavelength. 4.3? And I'm just like, I show up and it's like, I get yelled at for my 4.3 rating, but... Well, I mean, I well, it's, the, it's, it's not about it's, it's not about whether we're, we're mad or anything. It's just we just, just disagree. Yeah, it's not right, off. wrong, and different. Okay. You're just off. Yep. Should we teach him? No. We got to teach it anyway. I'm the young guy. No, here. we don't. Have to okay, you're right. I'm, right. I'm a rook here. Well, I'm not a rook anymore. You are for I, you I'm are right. you are in for yeah for three more games. You're a rookie for three more games. Okay. Here's the All deal, right. dude. Being a rookie is not that big of a deal. I feel like. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it is. It's a big deal, but it's not. Hindsight, it's not a big deal. You're okay the whole time, but the whole time you're like, am I going to be all right? Like, when's <laughs> one vet going to lose his mind? Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're always walking bit, on eggshells. Yeah. Code red me. Right. You ever been, did you get code redded this year? What is a code red? Yeah. I, so I never I got know. code redded, but uh, Brian Schwinky, no free shout outs, Brian Schwinky, he got code redded his rookie year. <laughs> and apparently, it's when the vets take you and they like saran wrap you to the goalpost and pour ketchup and mustard all over you. What? <laughs> yeah, dude. Jesus Things got Christ. aggressive in Nashville before I rolled into town. That's like uh, that's Things like got pretty aggressive. Head. Yeah, that's some hazing so, back in the day. Yeah. No code red for me. No? No real hazing at all. I had to sing a I mean, Hard Knocks was there. So we had to sing a song. I. Oh, yeah, you were on Hard Knocks. Yeah, that was interesting. But yeah, um, no, I, I dedicated my song to Vontez, and that didn't go well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was oh, because he, he didn't was, like it. He was very I remember hearing that story. Me. Why is he, that? CT? So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> trying to like you know, earn my stripes. Yeah, it's kind sure. of like being an asshole fullback, like yeah. blocking all the way through whistles. Yeah. And Vontez is in your whatever year it is. So I think he's been in the league for about t 10 years, played so six. So he was not having it with me. Like yeah. he, it's eight. I think he it's eight played hated six. Me. <laughs> is it eight played six? Hey, but to give the, to give my man some credit, we were talking about that story and he was like, I knew like my only way to make this mark on the team, how I would have to stand out because there's a fullback on roster that the special teams coach loved that he brought from Dallas that they liked. And he was like, I knew the only way to kind of make my mark was to go after Vontez Murphy. Really? I mean, 
And that, he's, he's like the, he's the, gold the dirtiest standard. dude. He's the dirtiest dude in the league. He's like, the, unanimously. Oh, he's, he's the, thick too, bro. Is he no, a thick boy? Bro, like, he filling, can lay the filling wood. Filling gaps like pause. He is like bring the wood. The gold he's standard. bring the heavy wood. Oh my god! It was pause. Will pause? Is that what does pause mean? It means like hold up. Yeah, like pause. Think think about what you just said. Oh, I get it. Because he said he brings that thick wood. Yeah, multiple yeah. times yes <laughs> like hey put oh. it in your mouth pause <laughs> oh <laughs> exactly oh. Like, relax yo dude i so have a kid now yeah. uh, once you have a I'm kid you get, you get slowly less cool the, the, uh, like, i'm, I'm surprised you, you didn't you haven't i didn't know pause. i kind of just learned what bet was yeah well, yeah people like yo you want to just bet bet, bet. bet was what a bit we, of a deal that pissed me off <laughs> what are we betting on exactly <laughs> yeah What's we want you want to go here together you let's go catch a ball game Bet. Somebody text me. I don't want to. I can't. I'm legally not allowed to NFL PAs. Somebody would text me back like, you say something like, bet. I would respond like, no, not fucking bet. Just tell me okay. Just say sure. So you sing, what song did you sing to Perfect? I sang, I don't even know. CTE right there. Jesus. Can't remember your song? I mean, it was it was an old school song. It was like. Can you can you do it for us? Here's your rookie skit now. Go. I can't you're even You're still remember. a rookie. Yeah, let me look it up, actually, if that's cool. It's that bad. So while you're looking that up, the my rookie year. It was The Temptations. Was it? It was a song by The Temptations. I know that. Figure it out, and hey, and start and it. And come back. You got to sing right. a little bit and do yeah. a rookie skit. Uh, I don't like that, but okay. My uh, my rookie year, I sang... Um, you, have you guys seen The League? Have you seen the show The League? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the guy... The, who's the stoner guy in that show? The guy in the uh, league. Yeah, you obviously don't watch yeah. it very much. Well, I mean, it's but he, been a long he, used, time. he used to be a YouTube sensation. He's got a song called Show Me Your Genitals. And that's oh, the song I sang. Yeah, Show me your genitals. Your genitals. What? Show me your genitals. A genitalia. <laughs> that one. But I refuse to let you go. Hey, let him have his moment. Beg and plead for your sympathy. I don't mind. Cause you mean that much to me. Ain't too proud to beg. And that's about how far I got. And, and, then, and you were staring well, no, at I was, that I was time? like, he was in the front row. And I was kind of like. Serenading him? Yeah. And he was just staring at me like. He didn't even I smile? I want to kill you. Yeah. No, Is it was pause? He didn't. I mean, he was just <laughs> staring daggers into me. And then it got really weird. And then I just got off because I was. Obviously, I can't sing. So that's about how it went. I respect it, though, dude. Honestly, I. I, I um, Burfick's a wild card. Like that's like um, you kind of went did like the jail thing there. Like you go to jail and you're like, who's the who's the who's the community badass here? I mean, he and you got to fight that guy to get some street cred. Like it, run yeah. fits. Like I can't even. It hurt every single time, but like it didn't matter. You yeah, know, you just strap you it back up because you're yeah. trying to make the squad. Being, being a fullback impress. in the NFL is probably the worst position ever. And having to fight for a roster spot. <laughs> 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 Un undrafted, fighting for oh! a spot. Yeah. It's just, I mean, it was a gritty, gritty month right Dude, there. Dude, that's a gritty, that's just a gritty position in general. Yeah, it was tough, but. What was it like taking it Will on? Um, I don't think we, we never had, had Yeah, to. we never Couple really. pillowcases just. We never really, I mean, by the time Will got, it was, we were all spiders. Yeah, and, it was lovely, dude. It was just spiders all year? Uh, I mean, on Thursdays, we would put the pat, we would put uppers on. Really? We would go Wednesdays. Wednesdays would be kind of like a jog through. Thursdays we would do uppers. And the Fridays is again like a like just like a tempo day. Yeah. And run fits were always Wednesdays. That was like normal down and distance. So yeah. Thursdays when we had pads on, I was chilling. Like I was really? just watching seven on seven. Like I'd run a couple flat routes maybe. And like catch that was the, it. Catch, catch the ball. ball. Yeah. yeah. Get tagged out and move yep. on. Yep. <laughs> How crazy is the difference between like college practices and NFL practices? It's like I was thinking the last practices I had was bowl prep mm -hmm. and Wisconsin bowl prep is like you're padded 15 practices. Like yeah. it is a hundred percent development. It's a hundred percent. It's like, not just Wisconsin. Let's relax now. Okay. The, the, big boys, ten. the boys banged in Nebraska right. and probably big Michigan. Ten. Okay. Very fair. But that's, that's what I was coming from to the NFL was like, we're only putting these pads on once a week. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, Team periods are less. You have to take advantage of that stuff though. Like, cause I'm used to being able to get, 30 reps before you get like padded fits before you go out for game day you get five and they're like all right good to go yeah you're good and that's it you so. said you're used to you huh yeah it does for sure and you, you just got to wake up sunday ready to roll like you can't i mean you yeah, gotta dude. you gotta have the heat pad on the neck like i'm running iso six times today like we gotta go you're about to <laughs> he showed me down. he showed yeah. me like uh like, you, you play the patriots this year no 
Oh man. No. Next year, High Tower in the hole would suck. Dude, High Tower brings the fucking <laughs> wood, bro. High Tower. Oh yeah, hey, that's right. Hey, he ran through you that one time. No, you got him once. <laughs> no, he didn't. There, or who was it? Who was it that came up? It was up High Tower. But if you want me to tell a story, <laughs> exactly. I will. If hey, you listen. Want me to tell a story hey. the way I the way I yeah. saw it. Okay. Because from, right. from my understanding, you were watching it on TV. That's true. That's you yeah. were. <laughs> we both were probably. Yeah. yeah? We, we both were. Hey, all listen, right. Listen. True. Then I'll just tell the story. Then <laughs> listen. Then I'll just tell the story. We all get got. We all get got. Everyone got. Everyone gets got. Got to get yours before you get got. You got him early in the game. Stop. The last few podcasts we got. I talked about getting got by Buddy from the Saints. Shout out to Davis. No free shout out. Oh, that's right. Dude, he did get my ass. I didn't yeah. see you, but then you got me. So you got me. It's a win. All right? Hightower. <laughs> I've met Hightower before. He's like boys with Logan Ryan. I saw him. It was like the draft weekend. And we're like hanging out. And he's a super nice dude. Like a really good guy. I'm pretty sure he wanted to come to Tennessee. I don't know. I think he's from here. Oh, and for real? I, the, one of the first plays of the game in the divisional game against the Patriots we're running an outside zone and I'm looking and I'm like, I got a hand. I'm basically putting a hand out and running straight to him. And I was like, well, it's the playoffs. Here we go. <laughs> Time to just do it. Yep. And I, dude, I hit him and I'm not gonna lie. I kind of won it. Like, you know, when you like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He went backwards and I kind of, I got Feeling in his face. Good. I, oh, I, oh yes. I got in his face big time. I was like, fuck it, I'm coming all day. I'm coming, I'm coming in your face all day. No pause. <laughs> no pause. No pause. <laughs> no fucking Keep pause. It wrong. I wouldn't know what that meant back then. I would have said it like that, but I didn't know. Next time, same exact play call. Later in the game, same exact front. He's staring at me. But this time he knows. He knows. He knows the play. He's coming. Hey, is, yeah. my, is my mic off? That's how you interrupt a story. I apologize. That's how you interrupt good stories. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I'm just trying to. This is the I'm best just, part. I'm I don't want to get our podcast to, to do well, and you fucking interrupt my shit. We were we were climbing. That's pretty the fucked up. Right we there. were climbing. No, the no, I can't wait. I can't wait. We were getting up there, dude. Fuck it. We were. We were. Up See ya. <laughs> Jesus. So anyway. <laughs> So, dude, I see him. He sees me. We're looking at each other. I got a visor on this one. I'm like, maybe he doesn't see me. He definitely was seeing me, dude. So I run at him. He runs at me. And I hit. And we both, if you watch the play, like both of our arms flail. He goes backwards, though. I don't Roger know. Saffold. No, because there's another one after this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Roger Saffold is absolutely dominating the man in front of him. We hit. He goes backwards. I get rolled up in the back of my legs. And I get him and I'm laying on the ground and he's staring down at me. And I'm looking up at him. And I fucking got you twice. <laughs> so yeah, he's like, he's looking at me like confused now. Yeah. Like this guy's on the ground, I'm standing up. Yeah. But no, I got you. Two I'm times. Sorry. Two times. <laughs> Fourth quarter. Game's on the line. What do we do? I'll tell you what we do. We ran left. Because that's what you do. Let's go. If you want to be fucking great. Run the hot You hand. run behind sevens and seven six. <laughs> and if Jack Conklin ever listens to this podcast, he's going to be really mad right now. Yeah, you run you behind sevens shit all and seven six. <laughs> We joke about that all the time. I see him. He sees me. It's fucking game time. Same play as the first two. I'm thinking to myself, am I about to go three for three? I think I am. <laughs> right before the ball is snapped, that three One technique. Okay. <laughs> You're a guest on the podcast, right? My apologies. Okay. I just, just ruined I just ruined the story again. So we've jumped off the cliff twice now. The pot's supposed to be about you, but we gotta yeah. it's, it's fine. We gotta do a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hands up. Hand up. So I'm looking at him. I'm two for two. No peanut gallery. I'm looking him in the fucking eyes and I'm thinking, I'm about to go three for three. The ball's about to be snapped. That three technique goes from a three, like I just said, to a four eye. Now that changes my blocking yep, scheme a little because now I'm in a double. Yep. All right. I wasn't a hand before, but now I'm in a double. Right. So I go to double the guy. He gets off the ball. I get off the ball. I turn a little bit to the side. All right. High tower doesn't give a fuck that yeah. I am turned to the side. No. <laughs> he is barreling down and I hit him. I get hit. I get turned to the left and I peek over my right shoulder and go, Oh no! <laughs> Here he comes. This is about to be a and that's fucking problem. Where he this is a runaway train. And he comes and puts his jaw. I'm sorry, yeah. his forehead under my jaw. Yeah. And shoots me about three, four yards back. And I fall down. I spin around. I sit up and I lock eyes with Dennis Kelly. And I mouth. He won that one. <laughs> but you didn't say it out loud. And no, you're... no, I said it out loud. But I mouthed it. He's far. He's too far yep, away. Yep. But a divisional game. Right. And I'm like, he won that one. And Dennis is like. He, this was getting warmed up. He thought I just got knocked out. Well, yeah. Joke's on him. I was all right. Yeah. But you did get up. Hightower, you got up. Of the two times, which I did get Hightower, 
the third one was way better than the first two. Yeah, so yeah. technically, he won that chess match. Right. I was I'm like, starting oh, to realize the, the more oh, the more we shit. do this podcast, I'm starting to realize I get got a lot, and I don't. <laughs> it's all, we've only like talked this. about a couple times. How, we've only done like six podcasts already this year. And unfortunately, you go to the you brought the story up. Which one? You're like, have you ever one? played the Patriots? Dante yeah. Hightower. Dante Hightower yeah. brings that wood, dude. No pause. No pause. No pause. No pause. We don't pause the on, the, on the podcast. All I'm saying he says, is like, got technique is just forehead on the chin. Like when you're in the hole. That's, that's, that's what a fullback technique is. I yeah. would go shoulder all the time, dude. I'm not putting my eye. Well, because if your head's up, I mean, then you're. If I was. In, fullbacks can't stop moving their legs. No, 100% no. As soon as you stop your feet, you are dead. just, you're dead. You're dead. You're getting run over by anybody. Literally anytime we'd be close to the goal line or anything, we needed anything short. And you'd go in, I'd be like, God, I hope they just run right behind Ingold and uh, uh, Incognito and Richie, dude. Yeah. Run right behind Richie. <laughs> Richie's a house, dude. Dude, he is hard. a house, bro. He is huge. Richie, we gotta get him the, the crazy thing is Richie's so underrated athletic. He's so, yeah. I mean, well, he can move. But he moves. He moves. He doesn't. He like, has, this, he has is no this is no disrespect. It's right. post movement. It's when he's done, his head's tilted back. Yeah. His, his belly's sticking out like his big body. And he kind of just like. You know, waddles, waddles, back yeah, waddles he around. He looks so like but this it's a is swag no walk. He looks so yeah. unathletic, but like he kills dudes. And he's he what thirty six? He's re up to thirty six. Yeah, dude, good for him. He, he takes Benjamin care. Of, I mean, he's disease. always in the. He's always taking care of his bod, dude. Always. Yeah. I mean, that's one of those guys that, like, as a rookie, when you have you don't have your plan yet. Like you, you're trying to watch the guys that are six, seven, eight years yeah. in. Like that's one of the guys. He's here. like eighty years in, right? And you're just like, all right, when does he show up? Like when, when is he getting treatment? All no that doubt. stuff. Yeah, Richie. Um, <clears throat> Richie introduced me to this woman named Anna Hartman, who does like she comes to my house every Friday and Saturday during the season. She runs Movement Rev, and she's based out of San Diego. No free shoutouts, and she comes to Nashville every week during the season, Fridays and Saturdays, or Thursdays and Fridays if it's an away game. And because I I got her because of Richie, okay. and she does the the work she does is unbelievable. You will feel like a bag of dicks, but on on a Friday. Pause. No pause. No, no pause. pause in the podcast. Taylor doesn't pause. There's no pausing, pause. dude. I don't pause. My <laughs> wife's here. I got a kid. I got no the pause. perfect alibi. <laughs> no. You know pause. what I'm saying? <laughs> I got the perfect alibi not to pause. Yeah. So Anna comes in. You feel like a bag of dicks. No pause. And <laughs> at the end of it, those dicks are gone. You feel amazing. It's a, it's a, you, it's a totally new feeling. Like she'll lift. She does like these weird tests. She'll lift your legs, and one leg will actually feel heavier than the other. At the end of it, you feel light as a feather. Really, and you're moving. And you feel great. She is a stud. She's she worked on you before. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. awesome. I'm a big, 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 big fan of Anna. So back to your rookie year. We kind of went off on a little thing there. Yeah. So you, you <laughs> sing, you sing the song by the Temptations, which very bad. But people very poor. just just so you know, next year when you're going through camp. Probably two more guys are gonna sing that song. Okay. Temptations. Yeah, the right. Temptations very is a very good song. Too. That and the what's to remember the Titans song? Ain't uh, no mountain high enough. Yeah, that song no was that probably played high. this year. Yep. yep. Yeah. No. Clash. Lean on me. That was a couple. When you're not strong. Yeah. I did a uh, mocking move. I just mocked like the coaches. Kind of like I did the variable. That's yeah. why I did my rookie year. You chirped the hell out of variable. It was super uh, good. I, was, I, I crushed that one. I thought you were cut the minute that happened. People were wondering <laughs> if I should do it or not. Like I think uh, was it Wes? I don't know if it's what somebody was like, man, I don't know if you should, man. Really? Like I've seen dudes like, you know, they'll do it and then they'll get cut. And then there's a, bu there was, you know, there was a bunch of guys like, oh dude, he, you know, he won't care, but he didn't care. He like texted me later that night. He was like, Hey, good skit tonight, asshole. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Thanks for being a uh, respect. Yeah. 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 Vrabel is good about taking it on the chin, but if Vrabel, Oh, he comes, keeps that in the back of comes his head. Back, dude. Dude. He puts that in a vault. Anytime he ready. came, anytime he came around me and you, it was kind of like, you know, we just sit there. It was, and the like, it, was, yeah. it, was it was a, a dick measuring competition. Dude. Yeah. It was just like, no pause. It was just fucking puff the chest out. Who's going to get the last comment? It doesn't matter about the first comment or the middle parts. It was whoever got the last comment. Sometimes, because sometimes we'd have a comment, and he'd leave, and we'd be like, fuck. Ah, uh, dude. Yeah, he got Wait, it. Vrabel is quick witted. He he's, is. He's a quick witted individual. So you saying the song. Yes. Was like, I heard camp was love with the Raiders. I heard it was like, well, I mean, you were damn it, and this is your yeah, first camp, so there, there's no way you would know. Yeah, I have no reference point. I Yo, heard, you're so an, here's you're, what I heard. I heard it was like not a very difficult camp, not a very physical camp. Okay. I mean, every day I showed up, I had like three heating packs on my back. So. Sure, but you also played it was, full it, Yeah, it was fair. different. I'm, yeah. Uh -huh. 
it was physical for me. I I don't know. Do what was and it? I don't what? know what when to turn it on, when to turn it off. Right? Like I have to be on all. Like I don't have that. Like okay, this is this period. Like right. we're just gonna work on a technique here. Like I didn't know. The yeah. Best, the best thing you can do in any situation is just turn it on and then have a coach tell you to turn it off. Right. You exactly. Yeah. That when was, do you, when do you feel like you started getting everybody's attention? Because again, dude, you're an undrafted cat behind somebody that they already liked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he was he he was one of the boys. Yeah. I think that there was one play. There was blitz pickup, and uh, Carl Joseph came, and like we we had just um, we had just had a bad blitz pickup as a running back group the day before, and so the defense is like pumped. They're like, yeah, we got we got y'all. All right. Uh, next day we show up, and they throw me in and blitz pickup at running back, and. You know, I did that in college and stuff, but I hadn't done any running back whatsoever. And Carl is like all pro, like blitzer, right? Oh yeah, like he's he, fast he as shit just, too. Carl Joseph. Carl Joseph. He, he brings it. Does he? And uh, it was he a was loud on our collision. When you guys came out. Yeah, and um, you know, Did I, ju- they do I just three picks. No, that's no, uh, that's Eric, Eric Harris. Harris. All right, no. I'm, gonna keep, I'm gonna stop interrupting your story. But no, he he came and he he tried to just run right through me, like. You just tried to run me over the rookie that nobody really knows. Mm-hmm. And I was, you know, I got inside hands, whatever. And I ran him back into like, um, you know, the group of guys that were, you know, watching or whatever. Cause I was being an asshole. Like I had to. Smart, smart. And um, that, that was the point where like you pull it up on tape the next day and it's like, okay. And you're just one of Gruden's grinders now. Yeah, I'm just like, come Gruden, did, oh, Gruden, talk, about, did Gruden talk about you? Um, I mean, there was, there was definitely different times, but. Yeah, that was one of the. Dude, when Gruden talks about you, it it it, it's it gets cool. you going. Like you will, you will do anything for that. Really, person. dude, Gruden's he a stud. Dude. He knows how to motivate. It is unbelievable. I, I, yeah, like yeah. he'll just toss you a little bone there, and you're just like, you're ready to go. <laughs> you know, it's it's crazy. The first week I was there, like any new guy that came, he had like a, you know how you do Saturdays the night before a game. Yeah. And you know he gives a speech and stuff like that, and then you run like a, a highlight reel. Yep. And he'll have highlight reels of the guys who he just brings in. Do you remember what he had up for me? He had like some good play of mine, but then he brought up one. It was a Packers play that came up, and I'm thinking like, Yo, you what don't did remember I do? this one exactly. Yeah, I was like, what did I do in the Packers game? You know, I, that was like good, right? And uh, once the play started, it was the it was the play they gave it to Rip Ripkowski. Is that how you say his name? Yep, yep. Where he was playing running back, he's like a fullback, and it was like a, a power play. And I had him right in the hole. I tackled him, but he like ran me over. And so, where, you know, because he like jokes too. He's a big jokester, mm-hmm. and uh, he's a stud, man. He's cool. I like You're a big uh, Gruden fan. Big Gruden Huge guy. Huge Gruden guy. That is awesome. I had I brought my Gruden grinder shirt when I went there. Yeah, I never wore it though. I never wore it though. Why didn't you wear it? I don't know. I didn't want to be like you know, <clears> not, <throat> not everybody like knew me and stuff like that. Yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, feel I didn't want to seem like some dude who was trying to be like. Uh, I mean, you still brought it though. Your personality, you didn't really hide it, but I mean, brought what? Yeah, right, yeah. right well, away. Yeah, like, the boys, yeah. the boys stuff. I always, I always wore that like, stuff because some people won. knew of the bus with the boys. Do you so, know about it? I did not know. Okay. I wouldn't go around saying the boys. I would. You, it's like people would start saying it to and where I'm like, I mean, you wore, you wore yeah. that hat for like a week straight, and I had no idea what it was. Yeah, and then it like all of a sudden everyone like hat though, huh? Yeah, everyone's like, yeah, you can buy it. It's like what? How much? Twenty four dollars. Some guys would get them, and then feel, guys were like, "Hey, where's my hat?" And it's like, "Listen, guys, I'm not gonna walk around and be like, hey, you know, you." But guys I mean, want you a brought hat. a whole, bo- and that eventually, yeah, for sure, that thing yeah, is gone. At, toward the end of the year, I did for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get reimbursed for that. <laughs> Sorry, it's for all in that it. up. That's my bad. <laughs> so you're, so you're, hold on. So real quick, you're telling me that <laughs> Will brought hats and gave free hats out. Um, or ordered a box of hats, got them shipped. There. I think yeah. it was I marketing. Did. Did you pay was, for them? There were marketing agreements. Yeah, I think that's what it was. You paid for them. Yeah, we paid for them. Hey, remember a conversation? I like. I know. I want to. Let, I'm going to let you have your moment, but also remember a conversation where you're like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey any Taylor, dollar? Please let me have my own, my moment right <laughs> now." Hey, any? You're like, hey, any anything we make, put back into the business. Put back into it. Put back into it. Yeah, I mean, you got exactly Raiders. What, com, yeah, but you, you just see. you just you spent. I said anything we no, make. No, no, not spend. It's like, yo, the the boys want a hat. Uh-huh. I'm getting the boys a hat. Okay. Hey, boss, make sure you get 53 of everything we have for the Titans this year. <laughs> it's okay, baby. I'm going to need to get it reimbursed for the free Luan shirts. What? The 53 of them. You don't want to know what happened to those free Luan shirts? What happened? So the free Luan shirts apparently showed up. They got the box that said Hang Tennessee on it. Jeb opened the box and it said free Luan and he brought it to somebody and they were like, no. Oh! They're like, we're not making this a thing. Yeah. Wow. And because I was thinking in my head, I was like, yo, well, you got some not of the boys. one of the boys wore it? You got some of the boys some, and then you were like, yo, let's go off 53. 
no, we were going to do all 53. I, I, I wasn't that Ryan was like, let's do all 53. I was like, whatever. Because in my head, I was like, what if nobody wears it? Right. And nobody wore it. I was like, damn. Well, because like, the old line were like, yeah, yeah, we'll rock it. And you're like, let's do all 53 because it seems like people, the guys yeah. wore them. Damn. So nobody even got to see him. And all the boys were like, we would have worn it. We would have worn it. Oh. You know, empty promises at that point, but it still makes you feel good. Yeah, you for know? sure. So yeah, boss, make sure we get 53. So sorry, back, back, back to Alec. I don't I even know where we were. Sorry, this, this, conversation is what, this is what unfold. It Dude, this is kind of how it goes. Yeah, it is, man. Like, we just kind of <laughs> subscribe and rate five stars, but I don't know why people listen to us. I have no oh, idea my God. why people fucking listen to us. So your rookie, awesome. your rookie year, you start going in your rookie year. Is there is there a turning point to where you feel confident about being on the team the rest of the year? No. Really? Never, not even toward the no, end? Dude, no. dude, when I was there, you seemed like you were having a great time. On the inside, I was like... Still panicked? Like, I feel like that's just my personality, though. Like, I'm just, not yeah. a comfortable guy. Like, I'm comfortable in Green Bay, Wisconsin, like, in the snow. Like, I'm not comfortable in Oakland, California, playing for the Raiders. Like, I was never comfortable there. Just like... And it's not the environment or anything like that. It was just like... It's just how you are. I, I, that's just how I am. Like, yeah. I wanted to... I'm going through all of these phases of the first time... These coaches are seeing me. That's true. I, I'm That's on true. edge the whole time. Like even this off season, it's the first off season. Like, I like know we're, we're getting a lift in before this. Like, yeah, 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 That's yeah. just. I was like, listen, just, dude, you're not like combine training anymore. Like, don't take everything so serious to where you're stressed. Like thinking, once you get done with mini camp, you're like, I only have six weeks to be like in such shape. Like, it's not like you need to go peak performance and OTAs. Like, you're building your body all year long. I'm like, just don't put too much stress on yourself because I know you're going to. Right. I mean, and I. Like you said, like I'd rather have it that way than the other yeah. way. But yeah. it's a whole balancing act I'm still figuring out. Eventually, yeah, yeah, eventually yeah. you support like you should always work hard. Right. That always, it, 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 yeah. always should be a thing. You're but like now you can afford it, your diet's important. Your diet's more important than your workouts. Like what you put in your body is more important. As I just had three sweet potato fries. Hey, sweet potato fries. Are sweet potato. That is true. Complex carb, solid. Mm. Um the but like the the supplements you take the diet you have, like those things just play just as big of a role as right. anything else. Yeah, all your recovery, your sleep, all that stuff. I mean, sleep, sleep's the hardest thing for me. Sleep, I love sleep. That's the hardest thing for me to stay <laughs> consistent on. I got you. But you guys were the first, uh, they're the first ever rookie backfield of all time. Yeah, like we started game one, Monday Night Football. It was like the first time ever fullback, running back rookies started together. Really? Yeah. You got like what? You got an alternate, right? I mean, yeah, I was down yeah. the line, but you still. Yeah, it was a Pro Bowl alternate or whatever. So. That's wicked, dude. Congratulations. I mean, there's like eight of us in the league now. So, I mean. I know. It's a dying <laughs> breed, bro. It is. but You got to make no. fullbacks great again. That's the that's the movement on the social medias, the platforms. Trying to get the fullbacks going? Yeah. Well, it's like a little. I mean, you reach out to guys like Sherm. Um, was probably one of the guys that I looked up to most when yeah. we played Kansas, Kansas City. City. Yeah, and that was that was pretty cool. Like reaching out to him, he's cool. Um, just feedback and stuff like that. But it's, isn't it crazy? Like when you get to the league, and you remember like being a little kid watching these giant dudes 100%. play, and now like you're in it, and you still look here like, look how big these dudes are. Yeah, yeah. Because like, no, I'm like the small like running backs, fullbacks. Like you're six foot. You're not by any stretch of imagination big. Yeah, right. You're small, especially when you see. The grown men in the league, like Calais Campbell in right. person. Yeah, Trent Brown. You're just like, oh, that's Clay's a Campbell's fucking a NFL ass, player. Yeah. I mean, Derrick Henry as a running back. Right. You're like, that's a grown Speaking ass Speaking of getting got, player. Clayus Campbell got me this year. Did he? <laughs> 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 Let's run it back. You're, One you're more just, story. Come bring on. it back. We got another <laughs> run story. It back. <laughs> you want to hear it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Tell the Clayus Campbell. Well, first off, you want to hear it? The second time, so the first time we played Jacksonville, I was suspended. The second time we played Jacksonville was at home. And like we ran like a duo play, gaps game. Yep. You guys run it like probably every other play. Right. And um, Yannick, I was pushing the pile and Yannick and Dockway, shout out to Yannick and Dockway, no free shout outs, hit me in the ribs, like legit. Oh, like you yeah, yeah, that film, was like up. dirty shot that to the was ribs. Fucked up. I was like, yo, was that you? And he like looked at me and was like, yeah. And I was like, what's well, fucked, man? I'm gonna <laughs> you, get weren't, you, back. you weren't ready for that. I'm You're get like, you back. Uh, yeah. You know? Hey, you don't do that. <laughs> hey, don't, please don't. So like, Later in the game, we're dusting Jacksonville, dude. Derek is going on yet again another fucking tear. Yeah. And we run like a play. It's a screen play where I get out and I try to get the corner. I get the corner. I think AJ gets like 10, 15 yards. And I turn to look and Calais Campbell lays me the fuck out. The play's over. He's been tackled. I'm turning around and I land on top of my head. And that was it. 
Did what? you go out? Or no, you stay no, in? I stayed in. But believe it or not, I know you wouldn't believe that. Well, <laughs> I got fined at Jacksonville. That's the big fine when we played Jacksonville. That's how you got fined. That's, I got fined. Yeah, Offense, did you get fined? offensive targeting. Offensive targeting. So I caught there was a ball. Not even, there wasn't rule, even a right? penalty. Right. There was no. There was no flag on the play, and I got. I got. Ended up getting fined for lowering my head. And I mean, I drop inside shoulder. You know, that's a technique running on the sideline. Mm-hmm. Twenty-eight. A twenty-eight k piece. That's, twenty-eight grand. No way. They that's said my you said they emailed you two weeks. Two weeks later, because there wasn't a flag on the play. Right. So like we're sitting in meetings. All of a sudden, I get an email like. You know, it's the whole formal, like, you know, you get fined, and I, I got it from my agent. I'm I'm sitting there, like... Sweating, probably. Like, oh, my, oh my God. God. Like, and I, I brought it up to my coaches, and they're like, holy crap, like, that is insane. Because no one, like, that was one of the plays that we were watching, like, okay, like, you got the first down, like, good job. And then all of a sudden... 28 grand. Boom, right from the top rope. It hurt. And then Dude, you tried... Like um, what did, did coach Gruden, did any of the coaches try to do anything for you? Yeah. Coach Gruden was awesome. Um, I, I mean, everyone was supportive. I think, you know, just what being Gruden a do? rookie. Uh, I mean, he called and, you know, he stated his claim, tried to, you know, help me out as much as he could. So, um, I mean, we'll see what happened, but my last game check was like $500. Really? Yeah. That sucks, man. <laughs> so I mean, did you get to plead your case at all or? Did you yeah, get- I, I got on the appeal and stuff. So, I mean, I said, I said my piece and, um, you know, it's, it is walk what it walk is. through how that works. Um, so basically, you know, you get so I got that letter and you you schedule an appeal. So you get the NFLPA, the agent, you get on your side of the table, basically over the phone. And then the NFL has some representatives that are listening onto the call. They'll read you what happened. You know, you get a visual of the play, you know, what rule you broke. And you basically just. I mean, you say whether you thought you broke the rule or not, and like it's. What'd kind you of say? Like, like what you? What'd you I mean, say? I was just like, you know, this is a technique that I think, you know, is I'm trying to get a first down. Like, I'm a, I'm a yeah. rookie. Is I get three, four, five catches this year? What? Like something like that? Like, yeah. When I get the ball, I'm gonna try and like run someone over. I'm not running away from anybody. I'm not right. fast enough. So, <laughs> I mean, I what see was a your, first. What was your forty? Four eight nine. Uh, mm-hmm. That's solid. That's solid. Uh, I mean. <laughs> yeah right no what's <laughs> the speed rating in madden is just brutal yeah but it's it's like honest it's like yeah you know, you're gonna get caught by anybody on defense <laughs> <laughs> like d tackles it does not matter you're no getting, way you're getting hawked yeah so, what they say after you plead your case they're just like uh you know um they, they no so they um you know they go back and they review everything and they oh, take okay. they take you know what you went through and what you said and, you know, as a whole part of it. But at the end of the day, you did break a rule, right? So it's yeah. like you kind of got to, you know, pay the reaper. That sucks, dude. $28,000. Yeah, it's occupational hazard, though, for sure. Fullback is like, it's like, okay, do you want your guys to, do you want to inspire the guys on the sideline? Like you're running some, like running hard, finishing a play. You don't want to run out of bounds as a fullback. So it's. You can't run out of bounds on you a fullback. Can't, you can't. You can't do it. Can't do it. Make fullbacks great again, dude. No doubt. So it's an occupational. What sucks is sure. too is um it doesn't really matter like your pay scale like it's like an across the board like if say Taylor's the running back and was targeting it'd be twenty eight grand, but you you can get fined up to ten percent of your salary that year I think. Oh really? There's like a number like you can only get fined, like up to like ten percent or something. I don't know. Oh, staying corrected. There we go. <clears throat> so I've been, I pro- I've been I on probably the other end got, of those fines before. Yeah, I probably got brought down <laughs> to that that point. That's so. tough, dude. That is tough. And you're a rookie, too. Like, I remember the co- uh, one of our coaches messed with me because I was late to a meeting and I was, like, crucifying myself yep. because I finally made the team. Yep. It was my second year. I finally made the team. And then that first week, I missed, like, a pre-meeting meeting. And I was, like, so hard on myself mentally about it. Like, I couldn't even focus in meetings. And my coach told me that they were going to find me ten grand unless I had two special team tackles that week. And I was still, like... You know, it was one of my first checks, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, I can't believe this is happening to me. And then, like, at practice, they're like, they're like hey, dude, you, you're being way too hard. You're like, we're, we're just kidding about finding you. Like, no, you're not but that's really all you fine. think about for yeah. until you go through the appeal. Pro- like, that was week 15, I think we lost to Jacksonville or whatever. That play happened. Um, the last two weeks, all I'm thinking about is, like, not hitting someone with my head. Like, or yeah. at least my face, right? Right, like, right. I'm gonna, right, 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 right. But... Yeah. What, um, it's a little different from like college. Like college, you get in trouble. You have a six a.m. workout a couple of days in a row. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, oh get, shit, I'm kind of rolls or kinda tired. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I used to do rolls every day my rookie year or freshman year. Fuck up your stomach, huh? No. What? I would crush those things. 
The plate, the plate you pushes. Would, you, you would, you legit, would immune. You would legit, oh, immune to it. Roll on the ground, like nine hundred yards, no problem. And it wouldn't even mess up your stomach. No, I keep my eyes on the hash and I just keep going. Wow, you got to get five in your head, dude, and be like, I'm just on a carnival ride. This is what we're doing. That's impressive, dude. We <laughs> had to the, do uh, three hundred watch for like having a dirty locker room, and they would they were sitting cones all over. The, the entire team was out there rolling Dobson. Dobson. We're out there rolling, and there's they're putting cones everywhere there, that there was puke, and so you're like having to go sideways. It was a oh, massacre no way. out there. Yeah, they were so pissed off. See, when you you're tired, wanna... I would roll right over that throw up. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't. No, I mean no, I wasn't Dude, trying to. Matt drills. What was like at Wisconsin like winter winter conditioning? Um, Six a.m. Get up. Yeah, so it's fights. like yeah. So if you're if you're in the morning group, we called them functional Fridays, and mm -hmm. they did the F U N like it's fun functional Fridays. Yeah, and it's Such basically yeah. No, there's there is stations. There's like fifteen stations. Mm -hmm. You just rotate through, and it's all like functional movements, and it's all competition. But I mean, when you first walk in that door and you see the indoor all set up for you. And you're just like, okay, those cones look scary. That bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, you, you, you're, you're, you and five years, you're like, okay, how many? I, I, I count yeah. six. Yeah. No, 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 there's two outdoor. There's yeah, two yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Eight, or how many times do you think we'll go through? Three times? Yeah, yeah. Right. You're standing oh, there talking dying. to each other. Oh, 100%. And then oh, you get God. that next group coming in, you're like, just. Like, Taylor, how'd it go? Over. How was it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's tough. <laughs> and then you got those those hardos that are like, oh, it wasn't that bad. It's like, just it, just at least tell me how, like, for real what happened. Honestly, dude, it wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, trash yeah. cans at certain oh. ones for the puke it's yeah we had towel we had to do towel fights we had to do like tire fights where you would hold a tire and i would hold a tire and you just Whoever can get it five yards it. yeah how, how, would, how would they go for me you crush it no i think it was like honestly 500 some people just wanted it more <laughs> to be honest with you, dude. Or, or when you get the, when you get the tight compact guys they can kind of go to the ground and make it yeah get make it you. dirty yeah make yeah, it dirty dude. The towel thing kind of pissed me off. Like, it's a, I don't know. I never understood the concept of that in football. Like, why am I fighting over a tire? And when you got, that, when you got that in your mind that you're like, this is stupid, you're like, you're, you're just You've out. already you're lost like, the You're battle. like, fuck this. You've lost the battle. Yeah, yeah. That's why college, like, college conditioning sucks. Dude, it's, it's, it's so, a rough, they like, it's some rough They don't shit, give, dude. they're not trying to keep you for 10 years. They're like, we got this guy for for three to five years. And that we got to make him tough as shit and develop yeah. him as strong as he Brain, possibly Let's yeah. waterboard the ki these kids yeah. <laughs> and make sure they are fucking <laughs> ready. Uh, what? Dude, my first workout at the University of Michigan, no free shout outs, Mike Barless. <laughs> we fucking, we did a hypertrophy workout, like three sets of 12, everything. Yep, crush whole it. whole complex with squat, pause squat, with squat, uh, pause bench. And then we had to do this like plyometric station. The yep. lactic acid built up my legs so much, I'm not joking, full body cramp. We had to go run after this. And Mike Barwis, uh, anybody who's ever heard him, he had a TV show. He's got like, he sounds like he's chews on glass. And he comes up, straddles me, one foot on both sides, peace in my face, bends over and goes, welcome to Michigan. How do you like my dick in your mouth? Really? Yep. Jesus I had just Christ. enough time to wow. say pause. <laughs> <laughs> just enough time. <laughs> but dude, they, they, oh, it was, it was that bad. That it was, was like, but it was every single day, like, like, Cause we ran the, we were like a spread with Rich Rodriguez. Like the, the running we had to do was stupid. Like we like yeah, one I run for us on did. a Monday would be around the field twice. And then we'll do two of those around the field. Once do three of those do like eight, one tens. So you want to get like that. It's so ridiculous. Forties and a 300. Oops. That's the kind of shit that would fucking would happen. It was, dude, college is brutal. And he gets college now. And like some dudes are like not even running at OTAs. Oh no! Sorry, you to the NFL, and like some oh, yeah, like, no. don't even run. Like when, when, are, when you see the vets like taking off, and you're just you're a rookie, and you're like, like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're trying to commit different, suicide different right now. This, world. this yeah. strength coach is about to motherfuck yeah. the shit out of coach, us. Hey, have a good have a good weekend, yeah. guys. Coach just tells you, hey, don't follow the vets. And they still <laughs> mf the rookies. Like guys, hey, if you learn anything, don't follow, don't do what the vets do if you want to stay on this team. That'd be kind of be meanwhile, the there's star. some like ten year, eight time Pro Bowler. He's doing the same shit. You're like. Yeah, I'm gonna follow that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm gonna sure. do whatever that guy does. That was Ryan Kerrigan. Was it? Yeah, dude. The dude is a hoss. Yeah, Ryan Kerrigan was a house at Purdue. Yeah, yeah. And Purdue's terrible. Dude literally eats the same thing. Like every day, his regimen's the same. He stretches for like hours after practice. He's a savage. I remember walking in. We're in midseason, and he's like Bulgarian split squat, where he's got his leg kicked up on the back, so he's single leg squatting. He's got. Uh, three plates on each side on the bar. I'm like, yo, what in the fuck? I can barely do that with two legs. Right. And he's out there doing it with one and he just looks like, you know, he looks like a gladiator. Pause. 
So is that was that a pause worthy one? That, yeah. It's like, yo, if he let that one go. Uh, yeah, he looks like a gladiator go. with a shirt off. Pause. Right, like there you yeah. go. That's where you pause it. I think there's something beautiful about a, a well in shape man. You know? Yeah. Pause. <laughs> There's <laughs> <laughs> some dudes you walk in the locker room and you're just like, like Cameron Wake. Shout out to Cameron Wake. No free shout outs. Yo, dude, sculpted. That man is ridiculous. No pause. I get dude. mad at him. I tell him put a t-shirt on. Yeah. Every Friday we do Fat on Friday. I take my shirt off because it keeps me accountable. You yep. know what I'm saying? In right. my head, I'm like, you better eat right. Got to be ready in for five that. days, six days. You got to do it again. Yep. Yeah. And I'll go in there like tarps off, boys. We're doing tarps off. Sorry. Another is that climax the most, that was about to happen. What the fuck was that? It's juice. We're going. Who? Apologies. How much longer we got this podcast? I'm fucking done. What were we saying? Exactly. Uh, there's something. Tarps <laughs> off. Tarps <laughs> off. Fat on Friday. Tarps off. Tarps off. Yeah, I was well, legit I tell, like, I man, I can't Cam, remember what we were anyway, talking about. Anyway, I would tell Cam not to take his shirt off, and he always would, and it'd be very embarrassing for everybody, including myself. Oh, same with John, who. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny would walk in with his deep ass. Hey, Luan, weight room's free. All right. Okay, <laughs> I'll right. be in there. <laughs> Fucking he's stacked. I'd like ask Johnny, I'd be hey, man, can you go work out somewhere else? Like, I'm trying to feel good about myself. <laughs> I, I can't. Yo, Kerrigan is a stud. He's so strong. Yeah. Reason we brought Kerrigan up again, they, Alex is showing a video of him now. Oh, really shout out Ryan him. Kerrigan. No free shout outs. <laughs> no free shout outs. He, um, when we played him my redshirt freshman year, my redshirt freshman year at, at Michigan was the most ridiculous year for defense events. There was like, there was Cameron Hayward with this guy, Ryan Kerrigan, like Buchanan from Illinois, Mercil Whitney Merciless, J.J. Watt, um, Adrian Claiborne. All these guys were first round picks. Oh yeah, those dudes were It was my redshirt freshman year and we played Purdue and our right tackle gave up like two sacks. He got benched. They put in a different. They put the backup guy in. First play gives up a sack. Put the right the, the the starting guy back in, immediately. He was. I was like, please God, do not come over here. <laughs> Be that, a young buck. That would be terrifying. Who was? Um, did you did you ever have like a high tower moment? Sorry for um, uh, one of those moments with anybody. This is my least I mean, favorite podcast. Yeah, no, I I don't. There was so many like times where you just. A guy say what you want to say. No, he looks like sculpted up like inside linebacker. And it's like he hits you so hard and like you just hold on. You ever feel like you, like, you lost in, in? Oh, 100%. But I mean, at the same time, you're throwing it in there every time. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're out there regardless, banging. you're throwing it in there. And uh, no, he there's times where you definitely you get hit so hard. Yeah. And it's just like. How close are you and Josh Jacobs? Uh, I think we're really close. I think it's a, you know, it's a good good relationship that we're starting like i was i was talking earlier about um you know training camp every day me josh running back coach walk in the field every day talking just about life what we got to work on you know skill sets um we walk every day um every game day before the game getting on the same page so i think we definitely like laid a foundation for something that is hopefully going to be long term in the backfield how important do they want that relationship to be you were talking earlier, like they were saying, what was the comment that they made to both of you? They said, yeah, it's, down. A, it's like it's something where if you want to be great, if you want to be like Emmett Smith, Moose Johnson, like you got to you got to have your families together. You got to hang out in the offseason. You got to be on the same wavelength like all the time. So I think that's something where like we're going down to Miami and hopefully, you know, he wins offensive rookie of the year. Like I'll be able to be there, Here's share that Brown. moment with him. So, yeah. Yeah. No, I think you know, I, it is out of those two. It's out yeah. of. But what about I mean, uh, they say Kyler Murray's number three too, right? He's like yeah, yeah Kyler Murray. It's those three are the finalists. Yeah, those are the finalists. But it's definitely out of it's like or, AJ finished the season. Yeah, AJ crazy. finished crazy. Dude. AJ finished. And, jo crazy. and Josh didn't play the and last Josh four didn't play, weeks. So it's, it's this about shoulder, right? So that's that's tough. Yeah, that dude is a yo. When he cracked his shoulder at Lambo, and like, so nobody knows that he cracked his shoulder at right. Lambo. Yeah, and he just comes out like, you know, he he's out two series and he comes back and runs for like 150. Yeah. Cracked like, shoulder, bro. Like wouldn't practice all week long. Could barely like. He was in a sling. Had, yeah, he was in a sling. And then he'd just like, show up game day and run for 120, 140, 80, 120 no again. Shit. Shoot it him up and he'd be. Uh, he, in, so he did not dude. practice all week and then he would just 
slowly but surely was able to get his legs going and just. And after the game with being like tears because of how much pain he was in. And really? Like, and like yes, when they dude, wouldn't I'm, I'm let him lying. play? Like even when we were in the tubs and you're, you're just kind of like, hey, man, you know, like. Well, yeah. <laughs> I think it's lame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, wicked. you'd be in tubs and you'd be like, yo, how bad is your shoulder? Like, he'd be like, bro, I can like barely lift my shit. Yeah, no, he I'd wasn't. Like, Man, you f he was tough. And like when they when they wouldn't let him play, like a couple of those weeks where they kind of rested him and then let him play again later, like he was bawling in the locker room. Like he wanted to play so bad. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Yeah, dude. He, yeah. I dude, respect I the hell out of him, love shit man. like that. I, I love it when dudes love football like he, that. He is like unbelievable. Like he was like shaking because he wanted to play so bad really yeah it was like one of the games it was like it was going to be a deciding factor like if we were gonna what was it was it was it maybe the titans i know he didn't play against us i know yeah, it, it, it definitely was it was one with, where he was man. trying to play like it was the plan and he like he was like in tears because he just couldn't all week he couldn't get it all going rehab just, he couldn't get it going yeah did he, he's like in he tears, surgery like, for the year no so it was like something where you don't need surgery just rest it yeah it's like a crack thing where you gotta like yeah. rest it that's brutal. So, but that dude is a stud. Dude, he's I a stud. The hell out of him. Yeah, he's so he's so quick. It's unbelievable. You watch his highlight tape. It's like he'll be good for that. a long time. Yeah, I'll tell you what. As I'm, long as the boys blocking for him, right? I'm a let's big go. I'm a big fan. Package deal. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> package, package deal. No pause. <laughs> no pause. <laughs> dude, um, I'm a big fan of that. After you guys told me, I don't know him at all, obviously, but um, I want AJ Brown to win Rookie of the Year. No question. Yeah, I, I, dude, he I'm, finished. I'm, I'm he finished Josh, so man. strong. He got strong hands, literally like as an like on the offensive line. Like anytime we would throw like a like a strike or like a short intermediate route to him, we'd be like, "Oh, he's going house." Well, he crushed he crushed us twice, I think. Dude, he like he took that yards. ninety nine yard pass yeah. against y'all and just pulled away from dudes. It and he's yeah. his shoulders Fuck. his shoulders are wider than mine. Like he's he's yeah, a he's broad a hoss, man. dude. He's a broad dude, and he he's got that mentality. Like he doesn't give a fuck. Like I love that. He he said something like I was sitting with Ryan Tannehill. And he said something like, quarterbacks don't matter. They just got to get the ball over here. We'll do everything else. What? That's what he like, said? Right in front of him, I was like, yo, this dude's a G. <laughs> oh, he's a what? fucking G. He's like, I just, he's like, we got to get him on the pod. Ball. Get it in the like, area. You give me the ball. I'm, I'm going I'm to take it. Oh, my God. And then when he got, he got a quarterbacks thousand. Quarterbacks don't matter, dude. He's like, what? just get me the ball. <laughs> fucking ball. Oh, my God. He, um, but then he had a dope catch in Houston, like a, a catch like, <clears throat> like the probability, you know, like they do like next gen stats. Like, like the 3%. probability was like less, less than three. And, um, he caught that thing and I was like, hey, you needed a quarterback for that yeah. one, didn't you? <laughs> but he ended up like, he was like close to a thousand. He was like 61 yards away from a thousand in that last game. Yeah, he's a beast, he, dude. In that same game, he got that and Derrick Henry was like 173 yards behind the rushing title and got that. That was a big game for both of them. Yeah. Remember when uh, Bolitnikov spoke to us? Yeah. Bigger, he's, you know who Bolitnikov, he got the Bolitnikov Award for college for receiver. He was oh, a wide right. receiver, but he played for the Raiders his whole career, right? He spoke to us. Savage speech, by the way. Unbelievable. Shout out Bolitnikov. No free shout outs. No free shout outs. But he, there was one, remember he was like, uh, you know, he would he would be so in the zone, catching catching balls and stuff like that. He would come to the sideline, the way he talks shit about DBs. Yes. He'd say, um, hey, anybody else want some of this pussy out here? Like, <laughs> like The most savage shit. The dude's like, old as hell. No and way. And giving us a speech. And I'm like, holy <laughs> fuck. He's like, I sacrifice like everything for football. He's like, yeah everything yeah. really and it, it was like he, it gets you going yeah he said he would like talk shit you know call guys pussies and then right in front of him like when he'd catch the ball on him he'd look at his sideline and be like hey who else wants some of this pussy out here you guys can have all you want yo what a savage <laughs> yes bro. yes dude God. florida state boy <laughs> yeah jesus i wish i played this we'll have to get him on here sit right there I don't know if I can handle being in this bus with him. <laughs> oh, he's a, he's a cool dude. He's, he's really he's cool. A cool. And dude. he's always around. Yeah, he was always around, hanging out. That's, that was cool when we were winning, like seeing all the Raider legends showing yeah. up. That was really cool. There was a second where you guys were like the hottest team in the league. Yeah, we had won three, Gosh, three damn, in a row, I know. You guys had like so that. many rookies, though. That wall was going to hit eventually. <laughs> oh, here we go. No, I mean, that's just it. That's what it is, right? It's not a disrespectful thing. I think the Raiders have a great team. They have a great franchise. I think you guys are one of those teams that are just going to do this. Right. You know what I'm saying? But when you have, what, how many rookies do you guys have starting at one point? We had, a, there's, a, there's a lot. I mean, we I, had I like know. 11 playing. Yeah. 11 playing. Yeah. Which there's is only 22 solid, starters. Yeah. You know? We he, laid that like, egg against the Jets. And that's what, that started that, it And you got to fly from coast to coast. Oh, yeah. That yeah, was a yeah, brutal flight. Hawaiian London, Airlines. London was no free tough. shout outs. No Wi-Fi. 
No Wi-Fi. Crosby. He's First a rookie. World problems. Though. Crosby. He doesn't get defensive rookie of the year though. Max. Yeah. No. Statistically, he's all up there, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he's up there, but there's a there's a couple. Of, there's another guy. I think he had like I mean, ten sacks too. Yeah, Nick. I mean, he's does. a beast. He's both had like nine and a half. A yeah, he's up for like but rookie of the, the year. Both got the name. And yeah. he's uh, both is a stud. Max yeah. is, but Max was. He had some games where he wrecked. He wrecked the game. The Bengals game. Yeah. When I was, was watching a game film. Wrecker. He had yeah. four sacks, and I was thinking in my head because when we were to play you guys, I kind of like look. I'm like, hey, well, they, they got these DNs, these, these DNs, and then y'all had two rookies mm -hmm. starting at DN. I was like, we're good. Right. Like I can't wait for that week. And like a week or two before <laughs> we play, it was like Max Crosby four sacks, and I looked. At, I like I was like, fuck. <laughs> he got good. This guy's catching a stride right before I'm about to play <laughs> yeah. him. So uh, I went and watched his film. He he, ah, he took care of uh, the Bengals, man. He he, he took care of the man. Boots. I wanted him to get a sack so bad, dude. I know it's pretty heartbreaking, huh? It was. He texted <laughs> when he when he texted when he texted to let me down that he couldn't come on the pod. He yeah. was supposed to come in on uh, Monday. Yeah, and uh, he ended up responding like, "Hey, man, a lot of stuff filled up for things, and I got to go do this and this." And he's like, "I'm really sorry. Like, can we reschedule? Like, I, I want to get on. I want to get on." And um, I said, you remember the time that you said how disappointed I was when you didn't get a sack on Taylor? And he's like, yeah. I was like, this is worse than that. No. Yeah, yeah I was telling him that. <laughs> I remember Obviously just being joking. on KOR with you, and you're like, man, I just wanted this one so bad. <laughs> it was so tough right at hey, the end see? of the game. Hey, I'll tell you I what, I know, though. man. Gosh, damn it. I know. How much, how much love did you get from the boys, though, after that game? Oh, dude, that was that's one of the coolest moments. I've told you of my career. Like, of, of everything. That's one of the yeah. coolest All moments. All the accolades. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's by far number one. No, I said it's one of. One of. I will say being voted captain is probably my favorite. You really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's big time. On the Redskins, and then uh, Nebraska, those are two. <clears throat> uh that yeah, I think that would be pretty. If I went somewhere else, and then we played the Titans, and then all the boys like had like ten jerseys at my feet after, but, like that'd be a cool feeling. Because the coolest thing is you were on the team for a year. Yeah. Like, that's how much of a. That's respect. I, that's right how, that's how much yeah, of was, an influence Will had in the locker room. Like I didn't have any friends before I met Will. Will made me cool in the locker room. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I didn't have no friends. Hey, the boys. Where is that? He's pulling it up. Is he? Look at us, there dude. There they are holding the wrong. We should have. I don't know. <laughs> we why we did slip. <laughs> Somebody like said that too. Like, why is Will holding his own jersey? Yeah. <laughs> his own jersey. Just smiling it. for the picture. Idiots. I'll tell you what. Playing in the Coliseum was cool too. I played there, I think three, four years ago. And like a preseason game, but to be there for the last season, second to last game. Yeah. And you guys had to be there for the last game, which you, you guys didn't win that one, did you? Jaguars. No. And we should have. Jaguars. We should have. Against the Jags. That's tough. Offense, that's tough. Offense didn't but, really help us out in that one. Oh, whoa. Throwing uh, shade at your own team. Uh, just just that my own teammate. Fullback. There's uh, a offensive guy sitting here. Like an offensive guy. Fucking offensive, guy, offensive <laughs> guys, dude. Oh, dude, man. that's a that's a cool stadium. There's a lot of history there. I'll tell you what. We're in the fourth quarter. Smells like skunk. Dude, oh, it's almost it's earlier real. in the fourth quarter. No, Dude, no, it's early real. in the fourth quarter, I'm like, we get in that one side, <clears throat> one side of the end zone. I don't know which side it was. Whichever side is the side that always smells like weed. Yeah. That's the side I'm talking about for those yeah. of you Raider fans who are listening. <laughs> Dude, you smell, yeah, you smell right there on the sideline, too. Like, I'm about to get a contact high, fail a drug test. Yeah. I can't afford you that. You kind of tap your teammates, hey, you smell it, right? <laughs> I can't afford that. It's not good, man. <laughs> you do anything away from the football field? Yeah, have I mean, you gotten I'm, into anything I'm yet? To, I'm trying to get out there a little bit. Um, working on, um, you know, a passion of mine is speaking. Um, oh, really? Just talking, yeah, talking, speaking, talking to kids, um, especially back home, like Green Bay, Wisconsin. Kid, like kids love football, but nobody makes it from Green Bay, Wisconsin. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we got a lot of white tryhard kids that go D3, Whitewater, and win national championships. They're like yeah. NDSU. Yeah. Like that's where all the kids go. Really? So just, you know, trying to build that up is something I'm really passionate about. And so. You should start a podcast. Yeah. Man, you I love, really I love like motivating and like talking to these kids and trying to just lay out like, you know, what happened in my life and where you can learn, where, you know, you can follow in some footsteps and, you know, blaze your own trail and whatever it is. Because, um, you know, it's. It's a lot of, you know, you go, go to school, get good grades, go to Wisconsin, and then make, get a job. And then, like, yeah. that's awesome. Like, that's the gold standard. That's like the pinnacle. Right. And it's like there's so much more out there that you want to try and bring to that community. So, you know, trying to work with a lot of people in the area and, you know, get out there as much as possible. So, so, so like, like speaking, like uh, what kind of just the topics on like your story to kind of inspire them speaking. to do the. Yeah, a little bit. And just like. Have you done it yet? 
Um, so I did because uh, this is your college. first off season, right? No, so in college I kind of started that a little bit, going to schools, uh, talking to kids, um, trying to give them messages, and you know I had pictures on my Instagram and stuff like that. But um, you know, just getting out there in the, in the community and just hearing someone that's not—it's almost like you know you're you're like brother or something telling you something instead of your parents, right? Right, right. It hits One your head year out the other. Yeah, it's all it's all the same message. It's just how someone gets it to your head. Different. Like oh, Alec Ingold's talking to us right. Now. Like okay, maybe I might pay attention now. Like right. something like that, where um, you know, just getting kids to listen and um, hopefully kind of build upon stuff a little bit more than uh, what's going on right now because. There's good culture there, man. It's a lot of good people, a lot of helpful people. So just being able to just give as much as possible yeah. is what, what I really get passionate about. You were about. also talking to me about there was something in the works being built. Yeah, so uh, my high school that I just was at, they're, they're breaking ground in like the biggest weight room uh, in the Midwest. So that was just like finalizing everything like that. My head football coach, you know, just drew that up and uh, got everybody on board with everything. So it's something where there's opportunity there where there's people investing and they see the importance of investing in these kids and seeing, you know, athletics as a part of that. So as much as I can get involved in those areas and try and, um, I mean, kids aren't going out to camps, right? Like the rivals, the, the right. all that stuff, like kids from green Bay don't have that. No one goes up there. Right. No one wants to see that. So trying to just bring my knowledge of strength training, football, whatever it could be work ethic, and just bring it to the kids up there. It's, it's something that um, kids are thirsting for. They're ready for it. So yeah. I'm really excited about trying to you know see all those different areas. That's awesome, bro. I'm passionate about that for sure. You should Super be. stoked for you. That's awesome. It's awesome. We got a lot of time to do it now. <laughs> yeah. It's not like the college offseason. Just, year. yeah. Go out to Nashville, hop on a bus, talk about some ball, and lift some weights. Yeah. That's <laughs> he met old Dobber. He's going to be on the flight with us tomorrow, too. Oh, yeah, you go to Miami? Crushing it. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I was like, what kind of agenda you got done? He's like, I'm just going. I'm like, I mean, you really? can just hang around us if you want to. Winging it. We'll see what happens. I mean, I'm definitely going to be with Josh, right? Yeah. For that show. But besides that, we'll figure it out. We so appreciate- when is the show? The show's the first? Yeah, it's the day before Super Bowl. Day before will be Saturday. That'll be cool, man. That'll be cool. Rooting for you guys. I mean, hopefully AJ wins, but I'm rooting for you guys. Appreciate well, that. Well, cool. you know some way, background of Josh. Right. Anyway, it goes. It'll be cool. It'll be really cool. Appreciate oh. you coming on, man. No worries, man. It's, Did you have fun? This is really cool. Oh, my God, dude. One hour on the dot. Oh Let's God, go. Dude. Just like that. Wrap it up. Thank God we Get had me a minute Kick and a half out. of me chewing food. That really, that really <laughs> sold the whole thing in the beginning. <laughs> it was a hot start. Hot start. Hot that's start. what we do on this podcast. Yeah. And that's why everyone listens and they love it. And they subscribe and rate five stars. Appreciate you, brother. It's good to, good to be here, guys. Good to meet Always you. a pleasure.